Hey Wompers, today we are introducing to you a significant change to how Womp works. With the new workflow, the scene list will contain three components, unions, groups, and areas. Let's have a look at unions first. Primitives inside a union can interact with each other. They can, for example, group with or subtract from other primitives inside of a union. From now on, Unions as a whole can also interact with other unions, meaning that you can have a grouped form that acts as its own kind of shape and can be grouped with, subtracted from, or stained onto other shapes. Unions can be merged back together to a new one up to three times for free users and up to six times for pro users. You can see the depth levels at the scene list on the left. Second is groups, and you might wonder what's the difference between groups and unions then? Groups simply do not interact with each other, they have no form. They are simply there to help you organize your scenes better. Lastly, we are introducing so-called areas. They are basically what unions used to be. Contents inside an area can interact with each other, but an area cannot interact with other areas so you can still split your shapes from each other. On the updated health tab in the scene list, you can now also view your area count as well as control the resolution. So now I'm going to show you a few of the amazing new possibilities this allows for. You can, for example, make any kind of complex shape and have it act as if it is its own unique shape, just like making new primitives. Here, for example, I'm just cutting with my very own hexagon primitive inside another one. Activating the cylinder here, we can use the torus that I created to cut from it. And in that way, we can create a completely new kind of shape once again that just wouldn't be possible like this before. You can, of course, also change it just back to positive, group it together and use that as a new shape if you would like to. You can also stain or intersect. Now, here we have a Womp Classic, the cut model, and we have a text that's made up out of many primitives and cuts, and just with this new update, we can now treat it as its very own kind of shape. And with that, we can also now wrap it around the cup, which would be very difficult before. For that, we just use a cylinder around the same size as the cup, and we turn it intersect. If we now let the edge hit our text, we can see how it's wrapping around the cup, which is really cool. You can do this with your own logos, you can use them as stamps or whatever you can imagine really. And we can also turn both of those back together into a new shape. And now this is its own unique kind of shape that we can now, for example, use to also goop onto the cup a little bit if we just drag it below it in the scene list so it can affect the shape above. So we can goop it in a little bit, we can turn it into a negative stain, and there's probably so many more new amazing ways coming from this, so we can't wait to give it into your hands and see what you do with it. And yeah, thank you so much for watching, we'll see you in the next video.